Well, I don't know what Punxsutawney Phil said a few weeks back, but it's feeling like spring is right around the corner here at Mountain View High School, where the Spartans and the visiting Carlmont Scots are getting ready to face off in a varsity volleyball match. The Scots are coming off a fairly successful tournament performance this past weekend. They won three of their four matches, and they're coming into the Chester A. Walt gym tonight with a seven and one record. The same cannot be said of the Spartans. They haven't been quite as successful. They have yet to win a set following back-to-back -back shutout losses to St. Francis and Santa Cruz in the last week. The standings in the De Anza League are somewhat kinder to the Spartans. They are sitting in third place right now, ahead of Harker, Homestead, and Monte Vista. However, it should be noted that those three schools have yet to begin their season, at least in league play. Carlmont, despite the one blemish on their record, is sitting in fourth place in their league behind Burlingame, Menlo Atherton, and Aragon, all of whom are currently undefeated. I'll give you more information about the players and the situation they're facing as we go along. This is Mike Messner bringing you all the action courtside. Uh, that was what we call a puddle scraper in the business. And first ace coming out there, that was Simon Hua who did the serving there and still doing. He's had three, make that four aces. That was his fourth one. And that one went in. Nice job, and we got ourselves a 1-1 game. For the Spartans, you're gonna wanna keep an eye on number two, Evan Madsden. He leads the team in digs, digs per set, aces, and kills. And I'll tell you more about those players shortly. Still in, Mountain View controls. Deflected, but they call again, tipped. And good follow through there by Carlmont as they regain the lead and the serve. For Carlmont, you're probably gonna wanna look out for Will Wan, number nine. He leads the Carlmont Scots in digs, digs per set, and receptions. The leader in kills is Sean Murphy, number eight, with 387, a phenomenal number, in his two years on the Scots varsity. Now we've got ourselves a 2-2 ball game due to the serving error. And that's Arthur Thielen there. He's new to the team, and that's what we call a let, but that is going to count for Mountain View, and for the first time tonight, they regain the, they gain the lead. Number 10 there is a junior. He's a middle blocker and an outside hitter, and he is brand new to the varsity. That one's up in the stands, and that one's going to fall. Just bailed out there by the Spartans. Set. Short set, well handled, and the referee saw something he didn't like. That may have been a double hit there. So that'll be a point to the Spartans. May have been a closed fist there, I wasn't sure. Four to two now, Spartans. High set, and Thielen couldn't quite get to it, and we have a one-point game here. I was talking about Will Wan not long ago. He's got an 88.1 serving percentage, and that one will help it. Good deflection there. Carlmont handles. Cross-court set, and that'll go down for the kill there. Good shot there by Cole Palmbush, number 14. I don't have any statistics for his kills, but apparently that one did not count, so we got ourselves a 4-4 tie. And that one will count, and Palmbush 
putting that one away for the Spartans. Tom Bush is senior. I'll say more about him a little later on. That's Evan Madsen, who I spoke about before, doing the serving right now. Short serve and a little bit of miscommunication between a couple of the Scots players. So they ended up with a double, maybe a triple hit. And Mountain View maintains a two-point margin. Evan's got 26 aces under his belt coming into tonight. 111 kills. 90.4% 90 serving average. Tipped, handled by the libero. Will he be able to get it over? Yes, they do. Nice control there by Carlmont. And that one out of bounds, and that will go to the Scots. And we're back to a one point game. Alex Levers now serving for Carlmont. He's a senior outside hitter, 75.7 serving average. Jump serve there. And that one's gonna go into the net. Unforced error there, I believe that was. Rohan Raj Rajagopal for the Scots. It's a 7-5 game. Mountain View's got the ball. And your server is Kiefer Chow, number 19. Ooh, low serve. Carlmont not able to handle it. And I don't know if that is deliberate on the part of Mountain View, but it seems to be successful. That's the second net cord we've seen. Kiefer is a freshman, new to the team, and no statistics yet, but he'll probably rack some up by the end of the night. And that one's deflected off of a Mountain View player. Carlmont has control again. Sean Murphy, 75% serving average. And that'll help him. That is Sean's eighth ace in his two years. That'll help his average. His real skill, as I said, is in kills, 387 kills in two years. And you heard that right. And that one's going to head into the Mountain View stands. And their player there, Nick Rowell, very nearly took a header into those plastic bleachers that are up. Here's Murphy. And that one's going to be a little long. Serving error number 14 for... Sean Murphy. It's a 9-8 game in favor of the Spartans and the Libero serving now. That's Brady Kelch. Ooh, some net duels there. Almost a joust as we say. And deflected great defense there by the Scots as they have tied this game up and they'll get the serve back. I'll talk more about Brady a little bit later. There's a lot to say about him. And substitution is going on now for the Scots. Ooh, and the, they who live by the net cord shall die by the net cord, as that was... Han Ning, I hope I got that right, uh, number five there. It's his first year on the varsity, or his uh, second, rather. And that's his first ace, so he'll remember this night for a while. Tipped and slammed down by Carlmont. As Carlmont's going on a bit of a run here, they now have three straight points. That may be the longest run we've had so far. Not too many unforced errors in this game so far. Oh, 
Winding up, and that's going to be way out of bounds. That may have been uh, Will Juan, number nine. I didn't see. But the Spartans have the ball. They are down by one. And your server is Lyric Manson. Ooh, good pass there. Back pass, and great attempt to reflect that by Thielen, but didn't have any aim on that one. And so Carlmont will maintain possession and the serve. Simon Hua is your server there. And again, great defense by Carlmont as they are able to deflect one that the Spartans can't handle. Simon Hua's got a serving percentage of 96.4. That's near the top of the team, if not the actual leader. Good recovery there. And long set. And again, and this time, are they able to keep it alive? No. It's going to be an illegal hit. And now, Carlmont by four. Simon, in all his time, has only made two serving errors. Back pass. Tipped. Can they control it? Yes, they do. And that time... Great effort there by Kiefer Chow, but he wasn't able to come up with it. Both teams are going to take a little bit of a rest. We will, too. It's 15-10 Carlmont. We'll be right back. Back here at the Chester Awalt Memorial Gymnasium, and the Spartans starved for a set victory Still in search of one as they're down five to the visiting Carlmont Scots. It's a good dig by the libero. And good deflection there, and Carlmont's run continues. Seven points now. Simon Hua continuing to serve. Simon, one of four players on the Scots who played 109 sets in their high school career, at least on the varsity. Tipped. Ooh, mysterious there. Joust. Carlmont controls. Ooh, great timing on that. The set was not ideal, but able to reach back for that was Sean Murphy. Now 17-10, Carlmont. Murphy. And that one's going to head out. And so Mountain View getting a much needed respite, but still down by six as Julian Jung comes to serve. He's got the most experience of anyone on the Spartans. Four years on the varsity, very rare for boys volleyball. Or any other sport for that matter. And maybe a little bit of miscommunication there by the Scots. And not well timed on the kill there, but it did come down. And now the Spartans pulled it within five. Julian's got an 80.6 serving percentage and he's made 25 aces in his career. Oh, and Julian wasn't expecting that one and didn't get much of a grip on it as Carlmont takes back over. Your server is Brendan Chan Whitry, number 23. And the tip, not enough English on that one. Cole Palmbush probably wishes he had that one back. 
Cole also on the uh, varsity basketball team for Mountain View. Ooh. And that one goes home. And Shan Wittry not quite able to get that one. A valiant effort there. We'll hear more from him tonight, I'm sure. Arthur Thielen back as server. Ooh. Tip handled by the backcourt there. And a nice relay there to bring that home for Carlmont. Devin Enberg, number 13, had a role in that one. That's Will Wan again. Ooh, way up there in the ceiling. Very dangerous place. Ooh, and that one seemed more like a hook shot than anything else. And wrong game, but the right technique. Mountain View with control again. Evan Madsden. Looking for his 27th ace. Didn't get it that time. And that one was textbook by Sean Murphy, number eight. And that'll bring him to 388 kills. Carlmont in the closing stretches of this first set. And Mountain View with a nice tip. Carlmont having to scramble a little bit to control that. Ooh, set that played right into Carlmont's hands. The joust back to Mountain View. Again. A third time it's deflected, and this time it's going to cost the Spartans. They lose control, they lose the point, and Carlmont's leaving, leading by eight now. Your server is Kevin Tamita. And he came in with 23 serving errors. That makes number 24. And the Spartans making a couple of substitutions. Kiefer Chow, the freshman. And that rally didn't last long as that one's planted right in the middle of the Mountain View defense. Carlmont with the ball once again. Sean Murphy. Wow. Just a little bit too long there, but that sounded like a pistol shot. I don't know if you folks at home can appreciate how loud that was. The libero with the serve, Brady Kelsch. And Brady not in a position to take care of that one, and we're at set point for Carlmont. Han Ning serving for the set. Han has never had an ace. And Mountain View staying alive for one more rally. Still set point. And Mountain View still trailing by seven. Lyric Manson, senior. 97.1% serving average. And that one slammed home. And it, with very little problem, Carlmont takes care of Mountain View in the first set. 
We'll be back for the second set of this contest. We'll see what tricks Mountain View has up their sleeve. Be right back. Welcome back to the Chester A. Walt Memorial Gym where in our last set, the first one of this contest, Carlmont made very short work, less than 15 minutes to take care of Mountain View in set number one. Uh, probably worth mentioning that Carlmont has won many of its games. As a matter of fact, all of its games so far, the victories have been in straight sets and they only have one loss as I uh, mentioned to you a little earlier. Um, Mountain View has been averaging 15 points in their first set. Tonight, they went up to 17. So these are small victories for the Mountain View Spartans, but I'm sure that the team and their coach will take those victories. That's Katie Johnson is the head coach of the Mountain View Spartans. Her assistant is Oscar Lopez Figueroa. And so we're just about ready to get going in set number two. For Carlmont, continued to be relying on the weapons that they brought in here. Will Wan with the serving and Sean Murphy with a lot of the serving and the passing and the killing. Kevin Tamita also has been doing his part. And so on paper, the experts said that this would be a tough battle for the Spartans and so far it has been just that. But it's a new set. So we'll see what Mountain View can do down one set. We'll see what Carlmont can do up one set. Looks like that's Kiefer Chow, number 19. He usually is an opposing hitter and an outside hitter. And picking up right where they left off is Carlmont. That one was in and out of the hands of Lyric Manson, number 21. And it's a one nothing game in favor of Carlmont. Server is Kevin Tamita. And great kill attempt and just couldn't get that down. A lot of power behind that one. Kevin Tamita been on the varsity for two years. 94.8 serving percentage, I may have mentioned that earlier. And among the most experienced on the varsity team. And that one just not well handled there by Kiefer. And the run continues for the Scots. Good deflection there. Tip. Murphy and his kill attempt is thwarted there, but then a second wind. And I believe that was Devin Enberg who smashed it home there. Devin came in with 112 kills. Now he's got 113. And that one's gonna be just a little bit long. Four to one in favor of Carlmont. Arthur Thielen who kicked off this match now with the serve. Short set, handled by Mountain View. And that one nicely done. As Cole Palmbush, after a couple of unforced errors in the first set, brought that one home. Cole also on the varsity basketball team for the Spartans. Ooh, that one's off the ceiling. And that is gonna be a gift-wrapped point for the Spartans. I've said many times since I've been working with KMVT that the ceiling beams 
in this gymnasium can be your worst enemy. They can also be your best friend, and there's no way of telling which role they'll be playing in any given night. And that one is going to be an illegal touch against the Spartans, and the Scots will take over again. Sean Murphy continuing to serve. And Sean making a very unusual serving error. That's only number 14 in 95 sets. 97 if you count tonight, the two that he's played so far. Only 14 in his career. Ace for Evan Madsden. And that's number 27 for Evan. Good on you. This is his first year on the varsity. And good deflection there. The Scots had to scramble, but they handled it. And now, Mountain View beginning to stage a little bit of a comeback as they have taken the lead back from the Scots behind Evans serving. Evan came into this game leading the Spartans with aces, and he is broadening that now. Don't count out Evan Madsden, and don't talk, count out the Spartans. Tipped. Ooh, over that beam. Tipped again, and this time, not as much luck for the Spartans as we have an even score one more time. Will Wan. Ooh. Took a bit of a spill there, but it was an illegal hit on the part of Carlmont. And so Mountain View maintains the lead. Brady Kelsch, number five, who's wearing for the libero. Okay, he passed the ball off, but I will talk about Brady when we get a chance. Tim Zhang is a sophomore, his first year on the varsity. I have no numbers for him. Cross, cross court pass, and that was beautifully executed by Carlmont. We got ourselves a 7 7 game. Simon Hua back at serve. And well done there by Evan Madsden, number two, who's showing his value more and more with every rally. Brady Kelsch was called up in the middle of last year, and so he has been with the varsity for a year and change. He just served there. And it looks like that was an illegal hit there by the Spartans, so Carmont will get the ball back. Brady's played 85 sets on the varsity and came in here with an 86.9% serving average. Carlmont sending in number 23, Brendan Chanwitry. And that one is going to fall. And Mountain View showing a level of resilience that belies their record. And now they are hungry for their first, to capture their first set of the season. Lyric Manson now the server. Oh, great effort there on the far side of the court. I think that was Tim Zhang who made a valiant effort to come after that one, but we're back to a 9.99 game. More substitutions there by Carlmont. 
Kyle Mayer hit making his first appearance. Ooh, long run for Kelsch, and it's not going to make it. Kyle is a senior and has been playing libero from time to time. He's not playing that role right now. Came in with one ace and a 66.7 serving percentage. Looking for more now. Good kill there. And Mountain View refusing to roll over and quit. Some substitutions going on for the Spartans. I'll bring those to your attention when I can. Kiefer Chow coming back into the game. And Cole Palmbush, number 14, also joining the action. Kiefer to serve. And that one just in between the borders. And so Carl Mott with just a one point lead after leading by as many as eight or nine in the first set, find themselves in a bit of a battle now with the home team Spartans. Tamita serving and that one isn't gonna go down. That's his second serving error of the night. Kevin wishes he had that one back, I imagine. Now Arthur Thielen. Ooh, that's what we call a gadget play in the business. And Mountain View found completely flat-footed as Carlmont takes the lead back. Sean Murphy, your server. That pistol sound. And a lot of happy souls on the Mountain View side right now after that kill by number 23, Zachary Peterson, who is a senior, but this is his first year on the varsity. So this is shaping up to be a special night for him. And Carlmont asked, answering right back putting one at the feet of Evan Madsden, number two. 13-12. Will Juan again. And that one is gonna go to Mountain View. And I'm not sure if that was a deflection or whether that just fell on its own, but Mountain View drawing even at 13. Tim Zhang, first year on the squad. Getting ready to serve now for the Spartans. And that one's gonna be low. Carlmont taking over again. Simon Hua. And a great hit there. To restore control again. That's AJ Lessey, number 12. He's also on the football team. It's his first year on the varsity uh, volleyball team. And he's a junior. Played on the junior varsity with this reporter's son last year. And that one is going to fall in favor of Carlmont. 15-14, but a much tighter set this time than I think either team really expected. But there's certainly no lack of action. Brendan chan -Wittry.
Ooh. Oh, great effort there by the libero. And Carlmont can't handle it. And Mountain View continuing to pull even and make it a contest. And now a little bit of a powwow going on between the Scots as they're wondering, who is this team? And Lyric Manson now. Short pass. Mountain View able to keep it alive. Can they get it over? They do. Good teamwork there. Deflected, and it's not going to come out. And Carlmont again with the lead. Sixteen fifteen. Kyle Mayer. Ooh, net cord. Cross court pass. Good handling there by Mountain View. They try to get it over. It's tipped back. Mountain View wins that joust and. Mayer gets hit in the face with it and can't believe he made that mistake. Sideline referee making sure that the substitutions are done properly. 16 all, Kiefer Chow one more time. Long pass and Mountain View got a piece of that one. I think that was Madsden, number two. Deflected it, couldn't quite control it. One more point for the Scots. Ooh. Good attempt there by Palmbush. Palmbush has made a couple of unforced errors so far tonight. Now making it a little bit more vertical. That was probably wise. Good, he wins the joust. And it's a double hit on the part of Carl Mott. Mountain View continuing to battle it out with their rivals from San Carlos. Mountain View coach looking for a little uh, the direction here. And we've got a substitution now for the Spartans. Here comes Arthur Thielen. Thielen had to hesitate a little bit on his serve. Ooh, what a wind up for that final pass. Ooh. Palm Bush. And over. Palm Bush again, and this time it's blocked. 1917 as Carlmont with what I think is their, well, no, not quite. They've had a three point lead at one point this set, but not too much beyond that in set two, although set one was much more dominant. Murphy and Serving error by Sean Murphy, his second one tonight. And it's back to a two point game. Evan Madsden now serving. Good dig there. Palm Bush. Back pass, good block there. And that one kind of went nowhere. Now Mountain View controlling Palm Bush, blocked again.
No, wait. Looks like there may have been an illegal move there on the part of the Scots. So we got a 19-19 game, and Madsden continues to serve. And that time, spiked with authority by Eric Fadiev, number 11 for the Scots. That's his 239th kill in two seasons. 20 to 19. That was Will Wan serving. Ooh. And Devin Enberg with a windup that I can only describe as unusual but effective. Bends his wrist back along with his elbow. A lot of different bending in the joints. I don't usually, see, you don't usually see that when someone's going up for a kill, but hard to argue with the results. Ooh, quick one. And just like that, Zachary Peterson. Although I don't have any statistics on his height, he appears to be the tallest member of the team. Brings Mountain View to within one. Good deflection there. Long pass, that's dangerous. Joust and Mountain View winning two jousts now. And now Mountain View being awarded a point. For what may have been a closed fist, I'm not positive. And we got a tie game again. So Mountain View somehow or another Managing to keep this one close and a great deflection there, but it went out of bounds. So again, Carl Mott dodges a bullet. Carl Mott closing in and Zachary Peterson with the kill. Three for Peterson so far, and coming in tonight, I didn't have any numbers for him, but he's certainly impressing me and many other people. Brady Kelsch. Ooh. Serving error there. Chan Whitry. That one's off the deflection, and Mountain View, again, pulling even. That's been the story of this second set. Not atypical for Carl Mott to be in tight races during the second set, and that one is going to fall, and you have yourself a set point for the Scots. The second set usually is decided between Carlmont and their opponents by less than a point on average, but Mountain View does win the second set more than the Scots, historically. We'll see whether that continues now. Ooh. Ooh, and that is going to do it. Close set on that one. And Mountain View showing a lot of life that they didn't have going for them in set number one. That being said, it is still a 2 nothing set count. We'll be back for set number three right after this. Don't you dare go away. Welcome back. We are getting ready for our third set here as Carlmont leading by two sets to nothing. Now, statistically, that is not a surprise. What is surprising is how close that last set was between these two teams, because Mountain View, 
who has yet to win a set, let alone a match, fought that one tooth and nail. And it took, the running time was about 26 minutes. Now, it is true that the Scots did pull it out, and that was due to a number of unforced errors by the Spartans. However, I did want to make note of the play of number 23, Zachary Peterson. He is a senior. This is his first year on the varsity for Mountain View. I didn't have any statistics on him when we came in tonight, but I can tell you that he stands six foot five, which I believe is the tallest on the team. And he's had at least three kills in this contest tonight. Thank you, Katie Johnson, the coach of the Spartans for the info. Mountain View keeping it alive. Ooh, bad timing on that one for Carl Mont. Mountain View made them pay for it. That rally was very fast, so we got ourselves a one nothing game. Who's going to take over serving? It's Kiefer Chow. Good kill there by Carlmont. That may have been Sean Murphy. I didn't see who had it, but in any case, Carlmont answering right back. Chan Wittry, who closed out serving for the Scots in the last set. Good recovery there by the libero. Murphy is blocked. Long distance kill attempt there. Ooh, no, that one's gonna fall. Great attempt there by the libero. Kelsch, just not quite enough. Cole Palmbush did really well on that rally as well. Two to one. That one's going to go to Mountain View. The referee saw something he didn't like there. Might have been an illegal hit or a closed fist. So now the Spartans have it again. Your server is Arthur Thielen. Ooh, that one might have been better to just leave it alone. Carlmont does recover, though. Oh, and that's going to hurt. That is going to hurt. Lyric Manson made an attempt at that one. And that's going to go off his hand. So unforced error there. It hasn't doomed. The unforced errors haven't been the death of the Spartans, but they certainly haven't helped. And there have been several of them. They've just been scattered through the three sets. But they've been able to bounce back so far. Oh, what a great attempt there, or a great point. Great read there by Sean Murphy in finding the angle there, and it's a 4-2 match. Ryan Singh is your server. And Ryan came in with 14 serving errors. Let's make it 15. He also came in with an 84.6 serving percentage. That one won't help his average. Evan Madsden is your server for the Spartans. Ooh, short pass, but great recovery. A joust, Mountain View controls it now. Palm Bush. And that's got to feel good for Cole. Ball showing why he is a two sport athlete, basketball and volleyball. 4 4.
Good block. Oh, was that out? Apparently it was. And Carl Mott probably wants that one back, but that was in fact out. And Mountain View takes the lead for the first time this set. Great block there by Palmbush and Peterson. The P-Men as it's 6-4 Mountain View and Carlmont probably a little bit puzzled at this team who refuses to go quietly and now has a two point lead on them. Palmbush and he'll get another kill. Seven to four in favor of Mountain View. Four point run now for Mountain View, which may be the longest one they've had so far this evening. And that one will be slammed home by Sean Murphy as Carlmont may be saying to themselves, all right, we've had quite enough of this. Kevin Tamita, your server. Ooh, serving error by Kevin. And in the third set, where Carlmont may be in a position to take this home, not the kind of mistake you want to make if you want to make any kind of mistakes at all. Zhang with the serve there. Whoa, that was tricky. Mountain View didn't know what to do with that, but they did recover. And that one slammed home. Sean Murphy again. right in front of the libero, Brady Kelsch. Now it's a two-point game. Yep. And that's gonna be a double hit against the Spartans. And their lead is now down to one point. Carlmont with a chance to tie. Murphy serving. And that one's going to be too long. Lost count after a while, but there have been at least half a dozen serving errors by the Scots, which has allowed Mountain View to hang around. Ooh, is that gonna be enough? Not quite. And that was not a well executed, that was four hits on the Scots. Just not a very well coordinated rally there. That was Kelsch with the serve. Ooh, good deflection. Now they're gonna have to control it, and they do, and that one's gonna be too long. Mountain View still holding a two-point lead, though. Ooh. And Carl Mott with another sort of disorganized rally. sure whether that is due to fatigue or something else, but just a little bit of a lack of coordination right now among the Scots, at least when they are on defense. Tipped. Oh, 
too short. Again, not well executed. And Mountain View now with their biggest lead of the night, or at least tied for it. Four points. And that time, Murphy smacked it home. For the second time, the Scots having to break up the party. Simon Hua, we haven't seen him for a few minutes. Tipped over, and Mountain View regains the serve and lengthens their lead. 13 to nine. AJ Lezzi, the football player. And that may be his first ace. I didn't have any statistics on him tonight, but now he's got an ace and Carlmont's got themselves a problem. So they're gonna have to sort that out. We'll be right back and see what happens. Don't go away. We're back at Mountain View High School as Mountain View, perhaps to their own surprise, but certainly the surprise of their opponents, finds themselves with a four point or a five point lead here in the middle of the third set after a very slow start in the first and a very tough battle in the second. Mountain View has yet to win a set this season, so they are very much in the hunt. Let's see if they can bring this one home. Oh, joust. Cross court pass. And that one is going to go to Carlmont. Sneaked it right into the corner there. So it's now down to a four point leave for the Spartans. Chan Wittry, first name Brendan there, coming in to serve. Oh, wow, great defense there by the libero. And another good dig, oh! And just like that, right off the hand of Lyric Manson, and another unforced error on his part. He's not happy about that one. Three point lead now for Mountain View. Palm Bush, and that one's gonna be out of bounds. I thought there might have been a touch there. So now it's down to two as Mountain View, perhaps realizing that they're not the only team tonight that can be resilient. As the run continues for the Scots. Oh! And that one, not well timed, unfortunately, for Arthur Thielen. Felt like Arthur might have slipped a little bit there. Well, anyway, it's a one point game now. Ooh. And that one expertly played by Carlmont. Picking their spots, and they now have themselves in a 14-14 tie. Well, the teams would take a timeout. It's a good time for us to do the same. Don't go away. Back again here at the Chester F. A. Walt Memorial Gymnasium at Mountain View High School. Mountain View, which at one point was A. Walt High School, once upon a time, back when our district had three comprehensive high schools. And that's a history lesson for another day, but that is ace number 22 for Brendan Chanwitry. And Carlmont has the lead again.
Ooh, great defense there. And the run continues. Seven point run for the Scots now. And Brendan Chanwitchery had a lot to do with it. And that one's gonna fall. Good move there by Evan Madsden to get that one home. Mountain View down by just one now. Thielen to serve. And that one's gonna be a little bit too hard. And Arthur may have stepped over the line on that one in any case, but now a two point lead for the Scots. Scots win this one and that's the end of your evening's entertainment right there. That one's a serving error by Chan Witte, I believe. First one he's committed tonight. Evan Madsden is your server. Great block there by Mountain View. It's gonna go out of bounds, but great defensive work by their front line. 18-16. Here comes Tomita, who has three serving errors tonight. Gets that one away. And that time the defense worked perfectly for Mountain View as Zachary Peterson responsible for bringing that point back and he's gonna rack up some statistics by the next time we see you. Ooh, fortunately that one didn't hit any of the support beams, but it was too far to run for Nick Rowell there, number one. And it's 1917. Much more reactive this time. And oh, that one may have been hit out of bounds. I don't know what the call was, but Mountain View feels like that should have been theirs, and I can't blame them. 2017, Murphy to serve. And Jacob Thompson. Excuse me, that was Zachary Peterson. So Zachary Peterson, great job there, and that'll be his fourth kill of the evening. Your server is Brady Kelsch. Good reaction there. Ooh, so hard to read those close to the net. And that was demonstrated, unfortunately, very well by A.J. Lezzi. Katie Johnson, the Mountain View coach there. Tipped. Controlled by Mountain View. Good dig there. Another good dig. Oh, that's gonna be 
an illegal touch, I think. And so now, four point lead for Carlmont. As Mountain View on the verge of their third straight loss. Oh, and Carlmont's phone line went dead there as Evan Madsden dropped a bump right in the middle of their defenses and no one made a move to get it. Lyric Manson now serving. And an ace for Lyric. That is his 18th and we got a timeout on the court. We'll step aside, we'll be right back here to see the finish of this match, don't go away. Back here at Mountain View High School, we've got ourselves a barn burner here between these two teams in this third set. Mountain View has a lot of heavy lifting to do, but they're knocking on the door and that one is not going to help the Spartan cause as that is going to be a point for Carlmont, who is two points away from this victory. Carlmont will be next seen on March 5th against San Mateo. Come back to that in a second. Net cord there a moment ago. And now we've got a match point situation for Carlmont. So as I said, Carlmont will be appearing on March 5th against San Mateo in their next contest. And Mountain View, who as it turns out did come up with that point, Mountain View will be appearing against Branham on March 4th. Mountain View tending to do better in the third set than Carlmont does generally. So we'll see how that plays out. And that one was blocked and blocked sideways as now we have a match point situation for Carlmont. Because Mountain View certainly put in a tremendous effort tonight. Han Ning. Amazing that Carmont was able to keep that together. Palm Bush hit the antenna, and that is game, set, and match. So, Carmont High School put through their paces tonight by the Mountain View Spartans, but do manage a straight set victory over Mountain View, who is still struggling to win its first set of the season. Perhaps Branham, their next opponent, will be the place they get that. That's me. Hope you've enjoyed the commentary that we've brought you tonight. Breen Yuen and David Michelfelder have been our cameramen. Aaron Schack has also been in, uh, involved too. Thank you, Aaron. Jacob Peterson is your producer. Mountain View High School with their athletic director, Tim Lugo, and their principal, Dr. Kip Blazier. And special thanks to the Mid Peninsula Media Center. This is Mike Messner reminding you, run for the roses, but don't forget to stop and smell them. We'll see you next time.